Hello there people, Fallen Rain here on a new video on Genshin Impact. Been meaning to take a look at this game for so, so long now, you know what I mean? This is my first kind of time really like properly, properly playing it. Um, you know, I had a little run, mess and run around and stuff like that, but now I said, all right, yeah, let me, yeah, sorry, excuse me, yeah, let me um <clears throat> really get into this game now. You know, so let's leave, oh, okay. leave that over there. Um, so far, like, it's a great game. Do you know what I mean? So far, I'm loving it. Like, you know, open world exploration. I haven't done, like, a kind of, a, you know, MMO open world game in a, quite a while, actually. I'm mainly into, like, kind of <clears throat> uh, gacha games and stuff like that. But this is great. This is an amazing game, you know. Um, so, so far, I'm not liking this stuff. I don't like the idea of when you swim in the water, like, you can literally drown. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, so um, I just try and avoid the water, you know what I mean? But it's very, very detailed. Graphics are just, you know what I mean? Out of this world, gra out of this world, different type of graphics, you know what I mean? Um, you can see why it takes up so much space. It's probably the biggest game I've ever seen. 10 gigabytes on, on a phone is a lot of space, you know what I mean? So um, sometimes that's another reason why I haven't actually played it because... I had to take off some other games, <laughs> do you know what I mean, to actually get it to put on my phone, you know, my phone, I've got a Google Pixel 4, so, you know, my phone definitely is capable of playing it properly, but um, it's, yeah, it's definitely a very, very high spec up market game, do you know what I mean, you know, so the developers must have made a lot of money from um, Hawkeye Impact 3rd, but the the battle thing, the, the battle scenes here <clears throat> are pretty good though, you know what I mean, um, I look forward to getting some more uh, special abilities and stuff like that. I think I've got, yeah, I've got something there. Oh, yeah, that magic ability. That's another thing you can use. I do, I am one of those type of people, I do love running around and collecting stuff. You know what I mean? It's a little weird habit of mine. Um, let me know if you feel the same way, but I do love games where you can kind of go around and collect stuff because it just makes me feel like that I can stumble across something really, really rare that will help me in the game compared to like gacha games where everything's kind of very just <clears throat> set uh, everything just set in motion whereas this kind of game reminds me of when i was playing pokemon if you saw my video a little while back on uh pokemon um <clears throat> ultra moon so that kind of like that you know i mean just kind of like open world explore around and stuff even though the graphics on this is much better than pokemon so let's see what we gotta do. According to the map wise, I gotta head to the heart of the forest. Oh, is that a boar? Can I kill the boar? I feel I feel bad, but <laughs> maybe I can get some meat or something. Oh. Wow, what the hell? Did the boar just did the boar just run into the water? <laughs> oh, it actually did. <laughs> the boar actually just ran into the water. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> Wow, it really did. It obviously really didn't want to um, get uh, slashed by me. It'd rather, you know, just run to his death, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. So let's see. Oh, yeah, that thing is called Paimon or something like that. I think Paimon, I think of like Digimon. Uh, maybe this is like our potential first ally or something like that. Can you skip this? Oh, okay. Guess not. Who's there? That dragon does look... Is that a dragon? It looks like a dragon. It's pretty powerful, though. This is this going to be the first boss I'm assuming or something? Or is it just going to fly off? Okay, it's just going to fly off. Good to know because uh, that thing looks like it would have been a bit too powerful. Yeah. Auto. Can I? Can I skip it? No. Okay. Let's go take a look, shall we? So what happened to that person? Did he just run off or something? Because then they was like, oh, who are you? Paimon's never seen a stone like this before. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Dangerous, yeah? You've never seen it before, but you know it's dangerous. Okay, that makes sense. 
That makes sense. Well done, Paimon. That makes perfect sense. There were some like little mini quests. Like I'm the type of person I'd love to just find where all the like mini quests are, and I will do all. I'll do all of that. Do you know what I mean? I'll get into all of that. I'll do all those little mini quests and stuff. You know what I mean? I like the fact you can you can climb trees. Though. That's pretty cool. And how we can climb up walls and stuff. So it just it doesn't really limit you to um, where you can climb and stuff, which is really useful because imagine if you had to you find a cliff near to or keep going around the cliff. That'd just be annoying. And I have seen games like that where you have to just literally go around cliffs and yeah, doesn't doesn't really help to me to be honest. Oops. I feel like I'm stuck or something. Am I, am I burning? This move here, that when you press down the attack button, ah, I'm burning. Is there someone still there? Because <laughs> when you press this attack button, do that move there. That move is really useful because um, when you attack them, it kind of stuns them basically. It sends them or knocks them back, I should say, and that's really really useful because those couple of seconds that they take to come back to you, you could be taking out another um, uh, another monster because they usually come in groups. So um, to me, that's really useful, really, really useful. Um, and then, of course, you know, you've got the magic and stuff like that as well. So now I've got wind magic I can use as well, which is useful too. Um, where am I going? Oh, yeah, I'm here chatting away. Where am I going? Meant to be getting this way. But I do really want to find out all the mini quests and stuff. I found one when I was when I was first playing it, but then I kind of lost where it was. Let me just take a look at the map, actually. Let's see here. So this is the map. This is where we currently need to go. Ah. Alright, let's see. Is there any... Just trying to understand how this thing works. I'm assuming that's... Oh, Adventures Guild. Okay, cool. What's this? Uh, oh, okay. So this, oh, yeah. So that's why the teleport says... Oh, so I can go back there if I want to. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if I want to just teleport back to there... I'm assuming, all right, cool, yeah, that'll take me there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is where you kind of started from. Um, but I wanted to see if I could find that little mini quest. It's basically these little, like, blue orbs. It's like a blue orb, but it told me to follow it, and then, like, it led me to, like, a like a chest, which was pretty decent. So I want to start finding, like, all of those kind of little mini quests and stuff like that. I think they'll be pretty useful. This is what I meant about the water. Like, you can only swim in the water for a certain amount of time or you will drown. So, <laughs> I'm not feeling the water right now at all. <laughs> the water's definitely not my thing. You know, so, uh, yeah. But hey, yo, you know. I guess I can't find that quest, so maybe I should have just carried on um, with uh, going towards the main objective. But, oh, well. I'll just head there now anyway. Maybe I'll find something along the way. So yeah, that's your rum bar meter there. I've been collecting small little things like going into these little huts and stuff. It's always like these little goblin things around here though. But they're not too hard to defeat. So like I told you before, you see that move there? That move is so useful because like, they spend about a good couple seconds. Oh, that's a good move too. Yeah, let's do some magic on them actually. See you later, mate. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that really hurt them. It looked like... That was interesting. It looked like that the wind actually made the fire go a lot more... Um, you know, like, how that, that concept of, like, fire and how, you know, fire needs, you know, wind to kind of exist or to kind of, like, you know, build up and become stronger? It looked like that's what happened there. It looked like it caused, like, some sort of chemical, you know... Well, sorry, not chemical, so natural uh, tornado, na a natural fire tornado. Oh my gosh, what have I just done? Ah. All right, so let's carry on. Let's, like I said, I'm just going to carry on anyway down towards the actual objective because there's nothing really to find here. And um, I don't know, maybe those little mini quest things are just uh, things you stumble upon. Ah, where am I going? It'd be nice if I could run for longer. Maybe if I start leveling myself up, maybe I could. But, you know, definitely a great game. Um, you know, I just need the time to actually play it as well properly. 
you know, um, it will take up pretty much most of my time, <laughs> you know, whereas all like most gacha games, like, you know, you can kind of, you know, set like auto functions and stuff, but this is like a proper, you know, MMO kind of RPG type thing. Oh yeah, I think she's one of our allies actually as well. Where did she come from? May the animal god protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. It's like the, it's like the serious type. Trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a... I'm following rain. mascot. What's the deal with it? And this mascot, what's the deal with it? Emergency food. Yeah, I'm definitely picking that. <laughs> I don't know. Like, well, can you even eat her anyway? <laughs> That'd be a bit weird. But that's kind of funny. I like, I like saying so funny, but I like saying the odd messages instead of the normal ones. Oh, I clicked it without even looking. If I could skip, I would, but I can't, so... Okay, right, I'll just go through this. New character obtained. Woo-woo! Yeah, I think I've seen her. Oh, yeah, she's an archer. Oh, nice one. Uh, let's see. So, uh, as an archer, Amber is ideal for taking down targets from a distance. Tap Amber's portrait to switch to her. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Switch to Amber. Taking aim mode. Jeez. And then you go. Oh, it's not moving for me nicely, though, is it? Why is it moving so quickly? You need more of a ah. I gotta hold it. Okay, so you gotta hold it to make it kind of be a bit more accurate. I'm not hitting that thing. I should be hitting that thing. Come on. That's what I was thinking. Like, what's going on? <laughs> it must have been like missing it by like an inch, what are you doing if that. He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Right. So she's pretty cool. So if you, when you see enemies from a distance, you can just go bow. Oh, silver sword! I like that. Oh, looking for your family. I'll keep her for now. Huh. Uh... Yeah, man. So okay. far, so good Let with this game. Kind of liking it. Now that, I can, now that I've got a bit more time to focus on it. Doing first? Let's see. It's You'll oh, okay. Oops. In a bit. Right. So that's to take aim. So what? Can you just do a hit? A sh okay. So you can hit a shot normally. And you can take aim and kind of like charge. Interesting. Okay, so why are, why are they not aiming up? Oh, you got to use this. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. All right, I got you now. So this moves left and right and stuff as normal. But then you got to use your other hand to kind of like aim it like that. Bow. So where did that go? Because I was aiming for the mushroom. Let's see if it aims right next to the mushroom there. It actually went further. Oh, oh well. Anyway. <clears throat> I knew the mushroom wasn't a monster. I was just trying to work on my aim and stuff, you know. <laughs> oh, I keep pressing it by mistake now. Because <laughs> I keep on trying to move the camera. Because my camera's in the way here. Wow. Let's move it. What can I move this thing to? Maybe in the... No, not the top. Maybe there. Can I still do it here? Yeah, alright, cool. I kind of need that area now. This camera's so big. Right, okay. But I can't see the map now, though. What if I, like... I wonder if I can make it smaller. Make it smaller? No. I'll have to look into my camera settings afterwards and see if I can make it smaller. Oh, whoops. Swapped it around. <laughs> anyway. Let's carry on. Uh, show. Oh, what's that little black? See, these are the kind of things I'm interested in. What is that black square? I want to know. I'm the type of person, right? When I play games like this, I will find something and then, like, someone like Paimon or the tutorial will, will tell me, like, I don't know, a few minutes down in the game play and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I've just seen that. <laughs> that's just me like I love finding stuff before I'm actually told it or whatever I love I love looking for things 
Now this looks like some sort of sealed door. Yeah, it looks like some sort of sealed door, so I don't think I can go in there right now, but oh well. What does this little smiley emoji thing mean? Wait, hang on. What is that thing for? Does she attack or something? It looks like she exploded too. Interesting. I'm assuming that's something for fighting. Maybe. Bet you can't keep up with me. All right, let's 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 keep going to the um, this story mode for now. So I guess I need to head up here. Headache trail. Oh, You're like, nah. Oh, too bad. He's like, how dare you? Bam, in your face. Bow. That's nah, right, you're not hitting me. Not today, mate. Ah, stop jumping! <laughs> stop bloody jumping, man. That's what I want. I want arrow combos. <laughs> bloody thing keeps jumping. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, cool. So I have to get the camp here. Yeah, come on then. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? That's more like it. Yeah, they don't like it. They don't like getting any shots in their head. Bam. <laughs> I like being an arsehole sometimes. Bam, 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 bam. In your head, in your head. Who hit me? Oh, have they got an archer too? Interesting. I think they got an archer. Oh, they got an archer. I think I see someone shooting at me. Ah, my camera's in the way. I can't see him. This will be fun. Ah, oh, so they've got a notch of two. Interesting. He's actually really strong, so I'm going to use him for a little bit. Right, now. Let me get this punk on top of here. Don't hit me. I want to hit you. Bam. Bam. Goodbye. See you later. Oh, he's still alive. Archer fight. <laughs> it's kind of funny still. Nothing to it. Though I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Well, Thanks obviously. for the backup. How did it feel? Thing, those things are tougher than what they look. Barely broke now the sweat. That you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? <coughs> These creatures don't exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. Storm Terror, that must have been that big, massive blue dragon. When the storms we hit, out. we usually end up with at least a few injuries. So the Knights of Favonius have been tied up, doing the best they can to defend the area. So mm -hmm. these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Well, that's not good. Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little... Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see to the city. Yippity yippity yup. Ah, <laughs> nearly shot by one. Uh -huh. What, can he own it? Wait, do you have to press it or hit it? Yeah. Ain't this a chest? I'm confused. I'm pretty sure this is a chest. So, why is the chest not opening? You either hit the chest usually or you press an icon to open it. Okay, I'm confused. The icon is clearly saying chest. <laughs> so, why does the chest not open? Oh, that's why. Because my screen is in the way again. Exquisite chest, yes, please. Adventurous experience. Woo woo! Yeah, I'll take it then. Right. Now let me show you guys the main the menu as well for leveling up. I think it's move. Is it this one? 
no, this is setting stuff. Okay, I've got an achievement. It's an achievement that will give me something because I don't want to waste my time with it right now. Wonders of the world, cool. Okay, it gives you some type of diamond. Primo gem. Cool. Ah! And in the way of the camera. That's why I prefer it this way. All right. <clears throat> well, you know, yes. Yeah, so we were showing off where the... Where is it? Oh, it's this one, I think. Here we go. This is where you can level him up. Currently level seven. Jeez. You know what, though, actually? No, let me level up the girl. No, actually. Just use some of this stuff to level her up. Level seven straight away. Jeez. Level eight. Okay, let's go back to Mr. Man. Okay, he did level up there. Also, we can switch and give him this new little sword here. I think this would be a good idea. Switch to that and enhance it. With some of this stuff. What do you want me to do? Oh, there we go. It's quite a lot, actually. Yeah, that should be enough. I'm not going to boost it too much, because, you know, I might get some, like, super amazing sword soon, once I get to the city or something, so... I don't want to boost it up too much, but maybe I should boost up a bow, actually, as well. No, I said, yeah, one star ball. That's a lunch. Uh, what we got? We got an artifact. Leaf of life. What does this do? Oh, no. Here we go. Maximum HP increased by 1,000. Oh, that's cool. Wait, hang on a minute. Adventurer, two-piece set. Can you equip more than one? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'll come back to this later anyway. Come back to it later. Ah. Yeah, I can't, I'm definitely going to have to look for a smaller kind of screen camera. This one's just too big. It's too big. I could just be nice in the corner somewhere. Ah. Anyway. Let's carry on. Uh, where am I? Head towards Monstrat, which I'm assuming, I think that's the name of the town actually. Ah! Wow, I just fell out. I was trying to actually stop as well. <laughs> Talk about free falling, but. No, I did not want to climb up a tree. Not what I was trying to do, man. Mm -hmm. What's that? Something smells good. I'm the survival expert of the adventure. Interesting. Okay, what's this all about? Is it like toss or something? You know what? I think this is the one I might have selected before, you know. Oh no, is this the main oh no, this is the main task. Okay, I get it. So that's the main task. This is the and this is the quest. On the outskirts of Monstra, Adventure Land is currently preparing a more okay. Well, navigate to that then. Is that her? I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice to meet you. What if the Adventurers Guild is where that you kind of pick up quests? So I'll cook a little something. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Yep. <clears throat> That's better. That's pretty easy. Cool. 
little bit of food. Jeez. See what else we got. Was it just that? It's a speak to Lynn. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm sorry. They want to go back and speak to her. I thought I did. I thought you did just speak to her. Actually, let me investigate that as well. Mushrooms are always good. What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No. We just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the wilderness or picnic? Oh, Pyman does love picnic. My travel partner here is good at cooking. Chicken mushroom skewer. Intriguing. Yeah, I already took. I already raided that. Uh, chicken mushroom skewer. Oh, okay. Now I made one of those already. I think. I think yeah, I'll just make that now. Oh, maybe I didn't. Perfecto. Yeah, I did make one of those. Is that it? Nice. Well, alrighty. I think I'll leave the video there anyway. I think that's uh, pretty much a good uh, look into what's going on here and stuff like that. You know, about to enter into the big bad city. So, you know, I'll do another video on like, you know, I mean, entering the city and see what all the city stuff is about. But I hope you enjoyed watching that. You know, this, these are my first thoughts on it. And I think it's a great game so far. You know, um, so much to do and, you know, just graphics alone was crazy because in old school games, like graphics like over there in, in, the, in the mountains and stuff like that, that would be, uh, what do they call it again? Like kind of self-rendered images or whatever it's called, I forgot what it's called. But anyway, like, you know, but you, you can literally go right over there, I bet. I bet you only money you can head right over there. So, you know, that's the whole idea of, you know, open world stuff, really. So it's really, really cool. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah, man, you know, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Take care.